Hi, right, this is going to be the tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius for October 2020. <clears throat> Please hit like, share, and subscribe so that other people can enjoy this video so it could go up on YouTube ratings. I appreciate all my subscribers. If you would like a personal reading, please contact me. I do sometimes have specials, so don't hesitate to message me. Um, energies are interchangeable and time is fluid. So when you're meant to hear this message, you will hear it. Uh, this could be you, the other person that you're dealing with, uh, the other people you're dealing with, or the situation that you're dealing with. Okay, Sagittarius, let's begin. Past energy. Present energy. Future energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Looks like in the past, Sagittarius, you could have been dealing with an air sign or somebody with air, air in their chart. I'm getting moon strongly here. Gemini moon. Something about a Gemini. Um, this person hurt you. I feel like you both hurt each other. Um, I feel like you are come out of that, though. You were stuck with this person for a while, but you've come out of this energy. You came out of this energy because you don't want to deal with them anymore. You don't want this back and forth conflict. This person was kind of manipulative. I hear Gemini here again could have some Virgo placements as well with the magician. Um, very manipulative. You put a stop to the situation. I feel like you have something new. New energy coming in. Could be a Leo. Uh, or you just having some good times coming and you're kind of forgetting about this person slowly. I feel like you're moving forward here with the chariot. You could also meet a cancer that could be of significance. Um, I feel like you're trying to manifest your own destiny here and are going to try to let the past go. Uh, you're trying to kind of move on from whatever ghosts in your memory. I'm getting ghosts in your memory, like things that you might want to think over and over again that you don't really need to waste your energy on. I feel like you're going to be focusing on your money here with this Knight of Pentacles and slowly building up something. I feel like you had to heal here with the Temperance. Uh, this is actually your card. I feel like you had to heal in regards to this. You could also be doing some type of alchemy or uh, or some type of spiritual work in, our, in order for you to cleanse yourself. Um, I feel like there could also be travel in your in your future as well. You have some uh, a page of wands here. As the overall energy, I feel like you're you're very much in your element, uh, Sagittarius. I feel like you are exploring. You are out to meet new people, talk to new people, see new things. You're not really focused too much on the past. I feel like you've already done the healing work. Uh, let's go ahead and clarify some of these cards for you, Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Three of Swords here for Sagittarius. It's clarified by the Knight of Wands. I feel like you've been upset about somebody. could be another fire sign that was very in and out and not very committal or towards you or towards the situation. I feel like you expected more from this person. Let's go ahead and clarify this Eight of uh, Swords in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. So you, um, I feel like you found yourself in a moment, in, in a space where you needed to kind of love yourself before anything else. And you became unstuck from a situation that was not good for you. Let's clarify this Five of Swords in the reverse for Sagittarius. We have the Two of Swords. So you've came up, you came to a decision in regards to a situation that brought a lot of conflict into your life. Uh, you decided to move forward. Let's clarify this Magician in the reverse. We have the Five of Cups. However, you're still kind of feeling a little bit upset about this, even though the world may not look, may not see it. I feel like you're still kind of upset, and you're having some memories in regards to the past about this manipulative person. Let's uh, go ahead and this could be some type of trauma as well, because I'm getting like long, like it's been several months. It could have been a, like five months since this happened, three to five months. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. It's clarified by the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you are focusing on your money. You are grabbing onto what you have and you are not letting go. So at this point, you're letting go of any, what you are letting go of is any past energies or resentment. And now you're holding on to what it is that you do have and trying to build up on, on yourself. Let's clarify the sun. Why is the sun here for Sagittarius? We have the lovers in reverse. I feel like you realize that you have more options than this person. Or you could have realized that this person had more options than you. And you see the truth. 
Uh, you see, you see things clearly right now, Sagittarius. Let's clarify the chariot for Sagittarius. We have the six of wands. I feel like you know that moving on is the only way that you're gonna gain that you're gonna win in this situation. I feel like whatever past situation you were in, you know that you're not going to gain any type of victory in reminiscing and ruminating on it, and you're moving on slowly. Let's go ahead with the Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify this. It's clarified by the Fool. I feel like you're ready for a new beginning. However, this time you're going to take it a little bit more slow. And you're not going to make any foolish decisions. You could have an Aries coming your way. Or an Aquarius with the, the Fool energy. It's clarified Temperance for Sagittarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you are learning how to discern who and what to give your energy to. And I feel like that's part of your healing here with with a temperance card you do come out on your own reading so i feel like there's a lot of healing energy uh, around you said serious lastly let's clarify this page of wands this is a pretty positive reading we have the justice in reverse okay you might hear something or um uh, may overhear something or might see something that might not um might not make you very happy but i feel like it is kind of like a karmic cycle that you have to finish um could be have something to do with a Libra or some type of legal situation or some type of divorce that you didn't feel like it was completely finished. However, I feel like it is finally coming to an end. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify the justice card one more time just because I don't understand why karma is reversed. We have the high priestess in the reverse. Uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo. I feel like this person, like you did not follow your intuition in regards to this person and, uh, Pretty much karma hit you in the face in regards to something that you did. Again, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. However, this is just all meant to be, okay? Um, this is a general reading, of course. So if you would like uh, to get more into your situation, go ahead and contact me for a personal reading. I'm going to give you three oracle cards, Sagittarius. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrow. So even if this person could have maybe took advantage of you financially or emotionally and it could have affected your finances, I feel like you know that you have the money that you need. You have what it is that you need at this time and you are going to focus on building upon that. Two more cards for Sadie. <clears throat> Sorcerers. You're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So make sure that you know what it is that you really want so you can go forward towards it if you get confused try to refocus one more sensitivity you are becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environment situations and chemicals and i feel like this is a uh, part of the healing journey that you're on there's some type of trauma or traumatic event that you have to heal from and you need to take care of yourself self-care is very important at this moment we see that with this ace of cups the temperance, the sun, and finally this card. All right, please contact me for a personal reading. I'll see you next month for another general reading. Thank you. Bye.